What's going on, friends? Rich Discovery's coming at you with something a little different. They don't get your hopes up. They're not C8s, unfortunately. They're still C7s, but it's behind me. <laughs> that is an expensive truck right there. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven Corvettes on one truck. That's a lot of money. You figure these things are anywhere from 55 grand all the way up to I think 122,000 for the uh, the ZR1. The way they wrap these things though, isn't that cool? Uh, I got all excited when I saw the truck coming in though. I'm like, oh, the C8s are here, but they are not. Look, they got them all wrapped up. Isn't that cool? Let's take a look at this one here. What do we got? I can't see the price on it. I don't know which one it is. What do you see? Anything? I can't see it from here. What? Yeah, this is an expensive, expensive rig. That's just a cool view. And <laughs> Corvettes stacked on top of one another. How close they get. That's how they ship them though. They wrap them up tight. Regular cars, when you see them shipped, they, uh, they usually don't wrap them like this. And then they get all bugs and dirt on them and stuff. Really cool though. I love the way they do this. I want this truck, man. I got all excited, dude. I thought they were C8, but they're not. They're all 2019s. It's just crazy seeing these things all together like that. Oh man, I was all excited. But, oh well. I figure I'll share these with you anyways, how they ship them. That is a lot of money. Like I said, anywhere from 50 to 100 a piece. Plus the rig itself. A lot of cash right there. And here they're all wrapped up tight. That's how they do it. Everything inside is all wrapped up. Beautiful, isn't it? Ooh, the key's in it. Cool. Yeah, two miles on the clock. Isn't that cool? Everything it's wrapped up over the rockers and everything. Pretty cool though, isn't it? I don't know. I just always enjoy looking at these when they come in. Give you a look at the chassis here. There's your transmission in the back of the car. Isn't that cool? Show it like this. They're right down the middle. You can see it a little bit. You can't see everything because of the ramps, but... Got that one single spring in the front. Corvette's done that for years. One single spring in the rear here. And here's your, your chassis setup. Really cool. But I, I love the way they put the transmission in the back, torque converters in the back. It's just, uh, they call the drive shaft a torque tube now. And that just spins constantly when the motor's running. That drive shaft is spinning. Well, really neat. Anyways, oh, look at that, how they got the pipes just sticking out. <laughs> Can't really see it too well anyways. Well, anyways, I just thought it was interesting. A bunch of Corvettes all on a truck like that. Sitting there looking pretty. Just itching for me to come buy one, right? Maybe one day. Maybe if I become a big YouTube star, I could buy me a Corvette, huh? Look at that, dude. How close they are. There's a lot of money all stacked together. But I think that's where we're going to end it. Just wanted to share it with you. I always thought this was really neat. Well, this would be a quick one. I figured something neat to share with you guys. That cool looking view, huh? It's on a hill, unfortunately, so it's not going to let me go straight with it. <laughs> Camera straight. Truck's not. Oh, well. I think it's going to be about it. Like I said, I just wanted to share it with you. I thought it was pretty cool the way they stack these things and transport them. Pretty much like any other car, but just seeing that many Corvettes that close together, and I thought it was kind of neat. Also, the, uh, the way they wrap them up, they put them in a, in a nice little suit like that so nothing happens to it. Nice little safety suit, but I don't know. thought it was cool. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and this is going to be your moment of serenity because look at it. <laughs> That's a beautiful oh, moment of serenity. Uh, I apologize for that. <laughs> really cool. Thanks for watching, friends. Have a great day.